Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how you can make a sticky note to use in your class notebook. All right, so let's have a look at this one. Now you can access it in our shared notebook. Just have a look underneath the video in the description to get there. It is in engaging pages and under templates. And this is where I'm going to build it. Now I take no credit for this whatsoever. This design and this idea has been around for a while. Sticky notes are part of the Windows 10 as a separate software, have um, some type of integration, especially in the iPad version of OneNote, but you you can't kind of pick up the physical image of the sticky note, it just brings the text over. But some people are really interested in a visual design and this one actually does come as a request. So this design type has been around for a while, but I thought I'd take the opportunity to make a quick video about how you do it. So what I'm gonna make right now is a template version of what I would use and then I would basically copy and paste this every time I wanted to create a new sticky note for my page. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is up in the insert tab here, I'm going to click on tables and I need a two by one table. So we're going to click there and then you can see I've got my two cells. What I like to do is back here at home, I like to find my little tags here and pop that one in. And then I might write sticky note. Okay, remembering this is just a template. And then I might write, you know, date there. That reminds me that that's where I'm gonna put the date. For the purposes of this, let's actually just put today's date in. So we have an understanding of what we are looking at. There we go. And then all I need to do after that is just press the down key arrow so that it goes directly underneath the sticky note. And this here is where I'm going to write, you know, what my sticky note is about. So um, let's just write something in things to do. And then, you know, which at the end. Wonderful. All right, there we go. So I have them in, I can even come in here, you know, I can bullet point these, whatever it is that I want. What we need to do is separately go back to insert and go back to table. And we just want a one grid table size. What I'm going to do is now select all of this. Okay. And I'm going to copy that. And inside this table, I'm going to paste it. Okay. This guy here can go now. So that's all part of one. So this is kind of more so the fun part. So we're going to do a little bit of a design here. So I might select this table that's living inside. So, and then go up here where we have a table and I have my shading option. So let's be super traditional here. Let's go with yellow. And then I'm going to click down here where my actual notes are and I'm gonna change that shading to a more pale version. So you can kind of see how this is starting to build. From here, I've got this kind of um, line sitting in between sticky note and or divider and the date that you can't really merge cells in OneNote. Hopefully one day we'll see that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select both of the cells and I'm gonna click here where it says hide border. Okay, and then you'll notice that it's kind of gone. It still is there, but it's kind of gone. Let's pick that one up and move it over. All right, I might just decide to just kind of size this how I want to, because I might actually want this sticky note to be a bit bigger than it is. Now, you can see how I've kind of stretched that out and that date isn't quite sitting properly. So I can select that date. We'll go back here to home and we're gonna paragraph that over there to the right hand side okay obviously if you want your sticky notes to be centered in this case i don't want them to be i can have them centered like that that just looks ridiculous so we're going to put it back like so the cool thing about this is that you can add more stuff into it so you know i can always come in here and add an image picture uh, let's just get one from online and we would just actually let's put it okay 
there it goes. All right, so I'm kind of embedding a picture as part of it because you know, I might want students to respond or have that visual stimulus as well as part of the sticky note and they can kind of tick it off as well. Now, the whole point of this is that you wouldn't go through that process that I just did again and again and again. You would save this as a template, okay? So what that means is that next time when I am ready to go and I might have a resource that I'm building, all I'm gonna do is come up here where we can see this gray bar, the one that allows me to pick it up. When I tap on that, it's gonna select the whole thing, which then will allow me to go copy. I'll click outside of it. I can then go paste and there is the sticky note basically repeated again. So you might wanna preset all your different colors. Maybe you'll have different colors that mean different things. So that means that I can come here, I can go to shadings and I might have green sticky notes. There we go. So there are my green ones and I will basically just copy and paste that. So let's say I was building a resource. Let's go into one of our older resources here. So a make code resource and I need to put a sticky note over to the right hand side. I can just paste that straight from there and then edit the sticky note accordingly. All right guys, I hope you find that super useful and we will see you again soon. Cheers. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date, don't forget to follow us. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section. Cheers.